What's up everybody? Welcome back to yet another episode and today we are doing a reaction video to Peter McKinnon's very own DJI Mini 2 unboxing. I'm pretty excited about this one and I already have my coffee ready. Let's get started. Mm. Never done one of these videos, so it should be fun. Hope you guys uh, enjoy this. Let's take a look. I'm cold. You're always Don't sick. Worry. This guy's always sick. It's not. <laughs> like at least 10 videos. Mm. Right, Harness on. the YouTube energy. What's up, everybody? Peter McKinnon here. Welcome back to yet another video. Today, <laughs> we're talking Mavic Mini 2. Yeah, there's another one. It's here. We're talking about it. But before I continue yammering about, here's an amalgamation of footage shot over the last week and a half that has like a nice eclectic mix of stuff that really shows off this drone. So I'll stop. If you guys don't know who Peter McKinnon is, you guys definitely need to check out his channel. He uh, gives me a lot of inspiration to go take photos, videos, and, uh, and a lot of vlogging tutorials and things like that. So if you are interested in filmography or videography at all, definitely check out his channel. Inspiring, hard worker, and obviously he's working while he has a cold, so that's pretty awesome. Must be nice to be sponsored. <laughs> How is he getting these colors? I mean, that's obviously like the golden hour, but how is he getting these colors out of a drone like that? I'd say to myself. Also, it must be nice to have a place to four seasons. Compressor. What a clean shot. Come on, no way, no way. There it is. This is the fly more combo. Let's just rip it open. Let's just see what's inside real fast. Not gonna make a big thing of this because you know, what's inside, what's been inside for the last like five years. It's the same stuff. <laughs> uh, good. Nylon, feels good. Very smooth. Full disclosure, I probably won't ever use this. I will take the contents out, fit them into a smaller pouch that goes in my everyday bag because this is something I would probably bring with me every day given it's under 250 grams so you can fly this legally. You don't need any kind of paperwork or licensing to Okay, quick little, I wanna, I wanna talk about something real quick. So if you're flying in UAE, you actually have to be a resident of UAE and you have to get, uh, like a little license. Basically, you have to register the drone on on my drone doc, uh, the, the my drone app for UAE. It's a it's a complicated process, um, especially if you're buying a drone from somebody else. Then that's a whole other thing. You have to like email these people, wait for them to email you back, and then they give you like a little license key or, or license document that says you're legally allowed to fly it in UAE. And then once you have that, you still have to get permission in order to be able to fly it in certain locations. You can't just fly your drone wherever you want with, you know, outing ramifications because you could still get in trouble. I think that the law specifically states like you cannot film or record anybody or any government related buildings uh, without permission. So just so you know about the UAE situation. Also, I want to say something about this little bag here real quick. I have that bag for the um, for the Mavic 2, the Mavic 2 Zoom, and it is just big enough to fit all. Uh, I think I have two extra batteries and the drone and a controller because I have the Fly More Kit combo as well. I don't have like the extra controller, but I have the Fly More Kit, and it just barely fits in the bag. So obviously, we know that Peter McKinnon is extremely anal about all of this stuff that he packs and the way that he packs very organized individual and uh, so for that I don't know I'd have to see it but if everything fits in there why not just use the bag operate this 
UAV? Yeah, that sounded official. The controller is bigger than the drone. I love this remote. I love that the joysticks are in the bottom. I love that the phone comes on a hinge so you can fit basically anything on here. You're not gonna be limited to a smaller phone, a bigger phone, it's it's all right there. The cables are hidden underneath. That's, it's, it's super smart. Do I wish this was maybe a little bit more of like a mini version of this for the mini drone? Yeah. I gotta get rid of this, man. <laughs> it's throwing off the vibe. Accessories. Ooh, a little brick charger. Thanks, DJI. That's helpful to include with devices. Yeah. Battery bank. So I think that's a uh, a jab at the, the DJI gimbal, the Ronin S and the Ronin S2. They don't have chargers that are that come with them. And I think that the drone should come with the charger, but maybe a small compact version of it. It's nice, yeah. This is super cool with the fly more combo. You're getting two additional batteries plus an extra slot. That battery is probably already in the drone. So you're getting cool. three batteries total. So the rest of the cables, that's all you got to charge all three batteries now. That is awesome. So I'm gonna pause this video real quick because I wanna show you guys the uh, the difference between that and what I have. Okay, so this is the case for the uh, Mavic 2 Zoom and the controller fits like snugly in the side pouch. And this controller honestly is smaller than the controller that he's using there. Much smaller, and it folds out like this. I don't really like how the cables are hard to get in your phone on the side here. This is kind of a pain in the ass. Joysticks are like, kind of like just tucked into the bottom of it. Pretty cool, nice little design. Um, and then obviously, boom. So I think that actually this controller is smaller than the one that he's using. I don't know, is this thing autofocus? Yeah, it does, cool. Anyways. And then like, yeah, this is the bag. And it literally has like the drone and then two batteries. But one thing I wanted to talk about is the size of these batteries. Look at how big this battery is. It's massive. And honestly, like this battery adds a lot of weight. So there's definitely gonna be a plus, a plus side to having the drone that he has. The Mavic 2 Mini, specifically talking weight. And if it can get all of those shots um, that this thing can get, and it weighs less, that's so much better for travel. Super excited on that. And then you've got the drone itself. What? The actual. Now with the Fly More combo, you get this little um, propeller guard. This wasn't on just... By the way, he has huge hands, totally dwarfs the product because he's a magician, you know, he's always like doing things. I have smaller hands, doesn't, doesn't dwarf products. The standalone drone. Side view, front, other side, below. That's the little uh, propeller thing. And then the top. You this could nails, fit homie. in a sandwich. This could fit in like a, a six inch submarine sandwich with ease. Get all these stickers off. Boop. There's your extra battery. Gimbal cover. I wish these were just done a little bit better. I lost one on the first day. Oh, that's fun. And that just covers the propellers on the bottom. Cool, love that. And then uh, look at this thing. Look how oh, small is this tiny. is. tiny. It's a very small footprint. So obviously the benefit to this being so small is it comes under the weight limit. So just wanna quickly show you the, the wingspan of the Mavic 2, if you don't already know what it looks like. This is the wingspan. Just, God, it looks like a freaking spider. It's so massive. Yeah, it's it's obviously a lot bigger footprint than, oops, I hit the uh, the microphone. It's a lot bigger footprint than the, than the DJI Mavic 2 Mini. So you do not need a license to fly it. You don't have to go through the hoopla, if you will, of doing all the testing and having all the, the documents. Now, I would still recommend putting a label on this so that you can have your name on it and your information. Uh, that's just always a smart thing to do. I'll probably put a pirate sticker on this, but nevertheless, uh, that is- I'll probably put my name on mine. That is what it is. You saw the footage that came from this. Very, very capable drone. So when you're thinking of stuff like vlogs, you're thinking about stuff like little internet short films, internet movies, things like that. You gotta get a shot. You're driving down the highway. There's a sunset. You wanna pull over, throw the drone up. That is what this drone is made for. It's super convenient. It's super small. It's very easy to use and it can fit anywhere. It's not taking up tons of space. 
Like, do you remember how big the old drones used to be? Remember this? The case that you'd carry through Ooh. an airport where everyone knew what you were carrying? I wonder what that is. This is so heavy. Look at that. Just doesn't even, it doesn't even compare. Look at the height difference. I know this is a different quality drone with different features, apples to apples comparison. But if we're looking at where drones have come, I think you say this Apple battery oranges, for I... this drone weighs more than the entire Flymore kit. That's great, nothing flip flopping anywhere. So let's talk a little bit about the features of this drone, what it's like to fly this, how it compares to the other models. Do you need it? Is it something anyone needs? Does it even need to exist? All of those things. And for that, we're gonna bring in my friend Gabriel, who's been flying this drone for the past two weeks. <laughs> what a sweet little, <laughs> what a sweet little shot. Anyways, I just wanna take a quick minute and mention that with that drone, being that size, if it has that quality, it must have some kind of like high bit rate like raw format that it's able to record because you can't really get those colors unless you're color grading in like uh, Final Cut Pro. It's really hard to pull those colors out in Adobe Premiere. Just wanted to kind of throw that out there. Okay, Gabe, Gabriel. Did you bring your camera? Did you bring your camera today? <laughs> That's funny. Uh, inside joke, we went on a photo shoot. He didn't yeah. bring a camera to the photo shoot. We'll link the vlog if you want to see it. Uh, you've been flying the Mavic Mini for the past, I would say, two weeks now. What do you think of it? Actually, really impressed with it. Testing it out in the wind, testing it out in different circumstances and situations. It's, yeah. It's an incredibly capable little drone. So you were flying it in like a blizzard. So I launched and I'm halfway out and it just, it's like white out. You, you saw the footage. Yeah. And it was That's amazing. Insane. Like literally I have pictures of it when it came back covered in snow. That's so How cool. would you compare it in high winds to something like your Mavic 2 Pro that you fly literally every day? Like just want to throw this up on the screen real quick. I think that what I was looking for was uh, this 10-bit D-Log. I was wondering if it had that, um, that capability and I don't think that it does. Maximum bit rate is 100 megabits per second, but for whatever reason, yeah, it doesn't have like a D-Log. I mean, obviously the D-Cine-like color mode is nice on the zoom, which is the one I have. Um, but with the Mavic 2 Pro, which is a little bit more expensive, it has D-Log 10-bit. But yeah, it doesn't look like this drone has that. So I don't know. He must have really done some crazy color correcting stuff in order to get that, that effect. You fly a drone 90, if not like 95% yeah. of everything you do with photo and video is from a drone. So I did find that I was fighting the drone um, a fair amount, flying in anything over 15 kilometers an hour, but I, I flew it in 30 kilometer an hour winds. I had to put it in sport mode to get back. It, it handled it. I flew in minus seven and I got like okay. the, it's too cold, you're gonna have problems in it. And it survived the whole time. I was really impressed. And I've, okay. th I've flown the, not the two pro, but the one pro in minus 20 degrees and 20 kilometer an hour winds. And I, I don't think I ever got that error message. So it's- Cause that, I, would, that would compound quickly. Yeah, and the batteries don't last as long, but I was getting about a normal situation, so I was getting about half an hour. I have a question for you. So if you're flying That's That's in really super high winds in sport mode, how did the gimbal react to that? So I did have some gimbal issues. Uh, if I was in sport mode and I went and I went forward, the gimbal would, would tilt down. Um, I think that's just an effect of the, the wind. It was just pushing the gimbal around a little bit. Okay. The propellers on this, like this, the whole profile of this drone, opposed to like the Phantom 4 we were just looking at, which is huge, it's, it's very slim. I'm always having difficulty finding a good spot to take off from without the propellers like hitting the ground or my shoe or something without like launching so what is your shoe doing in the way of your drone? Like if you're that close whenever you're launching your drone, you, you, you need to back up a little bit. Also, I can only imagine how hard this drone is going to be to catch if you try to like catch it in the air. Um, I can't do, I don't even try because I value my fingers, but uh, I could only imagine how much harder it is to do with this drone. Your hands, like how did, how did it fare in that regard? Most of the time uh, I rented a Jeep, so I just put it on the roof of the Jeep and oh. then just landed it there. So it was nice and flat. And, and it was you, fine. Yeah, it was it handled amazing. Oh, that's great. Okay, because yeah. this is this is low that if you were to probably take this off from the ground, the propellers are going to hit something nearby if it's not like a parking lot. You're cutting a lot of grass. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Any favorite features cool notably that you enjoyed while flying? I love the 4K, the fact that it shoots 4K in such a small, 
uh, body and then the zoom feature where there was a few times I was shooting a waterfall or something I wanted to get up close but didn't want to get the, the drone wet and you just activate the zoom and, and I, I think it worked pretty well. What is it, like two times zoom or? Yeah, I believe so, yeah. I really enjoyed like while we were editing this footage, the dynamic range seems to be very, very good for something so small. Like if you look at this shot here of Toronto, not only is the skyline like very nicely exposed and the, and the sky looks great, but like the foreground of all those trees look immaculate as well. Same with some of these shots inside the forest, which mm -hmm. I love with the leaves falling down, it looks so good. Uh, so all in all, I was yeah, super impressed. Nice. When I finished shooting the first day, I loaded it all down onto the NAR box and I streamed it to my iPad. And I was just scrolling back and forth. I'm like, this <laughs> looks incredible. And I love that literally, like if you don't wanna bring the whole charger, you just wanna bring these batteries, they're really small compared to like other drone batteries. Like that's all you're, it's like an LPE6 battery. This is the only thing I wish was a little bit smaller, but technically like you would only need to bring these two things in your bag to get epic, epic drone footage like you saw at the beginning of the um, uh, yeah, that. That controller is the size of the drone. It, it arguably is bigger than the drone. Uh, I don't know why DJI did that. This seems like it would have been a much smarter decision by DJI. I wonder if like you can cross cross port these things over to different drones. I, I, I have no idea if that's even a possibility, but that'd be an interesting thing to, to look up. Anyways. This video, thank you for flying. And thank you for, for going out and getting on. This dude was like sleeping in his Jeep in like random fields and waking up for sunrise to get that footage. I love it so much. So do what you gotta do. Thanks, man. And he gets the shout out. Gotta do it for the video. Bam. Good for the blog. All right, guys, so that is your first look at the new Mavic Mini 2. A great example of different types of footage you can get, both urban and rural. A nice mix over a bunch of different days with different styles of weather, so that hopefully shows you its versatility. Uh, it's a Ooh. great drone, so again, thank you to Gabriel for flying that and driving literally everywhere to get a nice mix so we could look at this on launch day. DJI, thank you for sponsoring this video and thank you for sending me this drone. Again, you guys knocked it out of the park. It's the attention to detail, like these little propeller guards and little things that just make the experience better and better each time. Do you need this drone? That's up to you. If you've got something that's already capable, if you already have the Mavic Mini, if you're flying something higher end that you're getting paid work for, I would probably say no. You could probably skip this version because there isn't substantial differences to it that would make me feel like it's groundbreaking enough for you to just dump everything you already own and restart. But if you're someone who's in the market for a drone, you wanna get into it, and you're looking for something small and easy to use and friendly, something that's not gonna intimidate you as a first time drone flyer, uh, this is a great Great drone to learn from and it's a great drone that's going to get you results that are good enough to go on YouTube channels and internet videos and pass off as very high quality footage that you wouldn't know that came from something this small. Those are my thoughts. Hit the like button if you like this video, smash it if that's something that you're into, subscribe if you aren't already and, and I will see you guys in the next video. So many cameras, so many cameras. Of a, a vast variety of different, different, Dif the, a vast, holy, <laughs> I'm just like, blah, 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 blah. Got the Biden, the candy Biden. in my mouth. <laughs> Taken from lots of different environments and weather systems, bleh, weather systems? <laughs> yeah, weather systems. That, Come back at six o'clock for that? the full report. What's up, everybody? <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to talk with a cough lozenge. 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 We've all been accustomed to the soft, the very soft, opaque DJI baggage. It is nice. I'm not gonna lie. Baggage. Baggage. Bag baggage. <laughs> it's even smaller. Is it even smaller? I don't know. I can't see because yeah. you There's had to subscribe one. link up. <coughs> and your next video show, I can't even see. Is that a dry cough? What you're talking about? Whatever. Anyways, awesome video. Obviously, uh, very entertaining. Um, so my thought on that whole video is that the Mavic Mini 2 is probably a great travel, specifically travel drone to have. And it probably beats a lot of the requirements that some countries might have on what you have to do for your um, drone regulations or what have you in order to be able to get like a certifi certifi certification, <laughs> in order to get certified to be able to fly your drone or whatever. Hopefully that, that under 250 gram limit thing works uh, doesn't work in UAE, so don't even try it. But also, uh, the drone is is probably a great 
drone for people who are just now getting into drone flying or just want to buy like their first drone. Um, I owned the Mavic 2 Zoom and within like the first three or four days I'd already uh, wrecked it. I had chopped one of the legs off um, because the legs weren't fully extended when and it took off and like there was nothing I could do. Like I couldn't stop the drone. It was automatically stabilizing itself even though the, the legs weren't fully extended out. And so uh, it ended up chopping off one of its own legs and then crashing to the ground. Thank God that didn't happen over anything that was like super high. It was just in my living room, which again, don't fly your drone in your house. But the point of what I'm trying to say is that it's much nicer to have a cheaper drone for your first drone because if you mess it up or if you have um, an accident, it's going gonna, it's gonna to hurt a lot less than if you have a $2,000 drone or a $1,500 drone that you, uh, you forked all this cash out for and you're just either A, not experienced or B, some kind of malfunction or problem happened and you lose the drone. So that's my opinion on it. I would definitely uh, consider it if I was in the market for a new drone or if I just wanted a drone specifically for traveling. But right now I have the Zoom and uh, I love the Mavic 2 Zoom. It's, it's really cool. I really kind of am looking for the next iteration of the DJI drone series. I think they're gonna have like a, a Mavic 3 probably soon. So I'm probably gonna hold off until that happens, uh, you know, to get those, those higher end, uh, I guess, color profiles like the D-Log stuff. I'm sure that that'll be in like the next drone series. So I'll wait for that. Low light, they didn't really talk too much about low light. I was uh, interested to know how well it does in like low light situations, but what do you expect? It's a, it's a small drone. Let's see how much this thing costs. Okay, Mavic 2, dude, that is cheap. That is, that is really cheap, 600 bucks. Entry level drone, 4K. That's a good deal, honestly. $600 is a great price point. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm surprised that uh, it's that cheap. I would have thought eight or nine hundred dollars, but you can get a drone for 500 bucks or the Flymore two, uh, Flymore combo for $600. That's a, that's a great deal. If you're entering the market now for a drone, definitely probably one you should consider, especially because it can do 4K. And as long as you're not shooting in like low light situations, it'll probably do pretty well. Okay. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it today. Uh, it was a little bit of a different video than normal, but I, I really just wanted to kind of get another video out. And, and, and this was a perfect opportunity to do a reaction video, which I've never done before. So um, hope you enjoyed it. If you're new here, consider subscribing. If you're returning here, thanks so much for watching. And we'll see you in that next one. Thanks, guys. Later.